Hey, who's yeah. this guy? Sean Roberts Sean from the Roberts Pride. From the Pride. Come Why don't on you in. You scoot over there, Mike. I'm you can. Your way. I'm leaving. No, you're not. You're still here. Sean, how are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you. Say hi to your friends out there. What's going on, guys? You look oh, beat. God. You look tired. Now ready for another one tonight. <laughs> are you going tonight? Yep. Oh my yep. God. Back to so here. you went to Nicholas. Let's give us the soup to nuts. How was your weather? How was your group? What'd you catch? How was it? It was a little rolly um, heading out, but uh, we had a uh, very good fishing. We kind of stayed shallow most of the day. Meaning how deep? Uh, 40 to 110 feet. Uh huh. Really? Wow. We had limits of whitefish by 7:30 in the morning. Wow. And and not these these no, whitefish, good, right? Good, good grade. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's this that's whitefish. That's throwing <laughs> back about another hundred smaller. Wow. Smaller fish. Awesome. We saw a little bit of squid. Um, saw a little bit of game fish, but water was 56 and a half. Hey, you're talking about yellows? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It looked like it. Did they get up and boil, or you saw them no, on just, the machine? Just in the dark. Yeah. And uh, we there was a little bit of squid, but the sea lions are horrible. Uh huh. So, but uh, yeah, we had really good white fishing, <clears throat> some other odds and ends, shallow water fishing, plenty of reds, cabazon, lingcod, our one chucklehead. We let go plenty of chuckleheads because that's kind of why we stayed shallow so we could let them go. And they live. No yeah, problem there. We probably, yeah. We probably released 100 at least chuckleheads. Um, and then we went out deep. The fishing was kind of tough deep, but uh, we had plenty of fish in the bags. The bags were done. Yeah. But you caught some stuff out in the deep? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. There was, there, there was, a, lot, there was a lot of bait. A lot of baited out stuff like deep, deeper water. stuff. Yeah. So, Sean, uh, tip on how to, wh wh what was the rig? What was the best rig to fish that short water and then the deeper water? Um, I mean, if, what should people bring if they're coming out on the pride? If you're fishing, sh if you, if you want to <coughs> fish for your shallow setup, I'd say just like 25 or 30 pound test. Um, you could fish a double dropper loop with like an eight ounce torpedo, two smaller hooks for white fish and sheephead and things like that. Um, and then if you wanted to fish like a slider, you could fish like a half ounce slider and a smaller hook or a half ounce lead head. Um, and if we go deeper than just, you know, standard 16 ounce, a couple two or three oh hooks. So was it a good opener for you? Do you feel yeah. confident about this year? You guys have already been running on the pride. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a brutal February for us. <laughs> it was brutal. But uh, we, had a good, we had a good first trip and I was really stoked about it. And then... Uh, the weatherman Sam kind of blew us away. Yeah, I know. The I water know. cooled cooled off. It, it it was actually looking like it was going to be good. We had really good bass fishing. There was a couple six packs that had some hits out there that first. That was probably like about a month ago now. Um, water was sixty three, kind of creeping in that sixty four, which is kind of that prime sea bass. There's there's you know there's squid still that there's still squid, but um, the water at the island now is like anywhere from fifty eight to sixty one, and the sixty one being on the high end. And that's real streaky, so it's not. It's. Did you it, see much kelp? Tons of kelp. So it's growing back. There is an astronomical amount of kelp on the backside of Catalina. There's a lot of those oh, wow. beaches, like Mills Landing or like Little Harbor. Glasses in our future again. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. even get into the beach area. As, I mean, you know, there's a lot of that beach access that you really can't even get into because there's so much kelp. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's. Uh, I mean, it's looking like it's going to be. A good year. We just need to realize it's March. Right. Exactly. We're in our regular pattern. It's winter now. time, yeah, right? We're in our regular pattern now. It's not like, oh my God, it's February and they're not catching bluefin. <laughs> There's bluefin down the coast. They are catching some. How I far mean, down? Do you know? There's that fish was like from like Colonnette to like San to like Sancatine. One twenty so to one forty. One forty. One fifty. Yeah. Um, you can stay there till August. There could be fish on the <laughs> bank. I don't really know. Right. We have a two day trip next weekend. I'm gonna look at check out the terrapin charts if we have 60 degree water out there i might run out there the first day just to go check it out we can always catch cod and whitefish there so i know people that are watching this right now you you left last night at what eight o'clock nine yeah. o'clock yep. and here you are it's what time probably after eight, eight right five, now yep. you're leaving at nine again so i don't want to hold you up too long but you said it's looking good for this season when you say that and we're back to our normal thing do you think we got don't knock my three stooges <laughs> thing over what's wrong with you do you think we got a shot at sea bass this year? I think we really like do. Like at Cat and Clemente and Santa Barbara? I think we really do. The whole thing with Cat <coughs> is if, I mean, it's going to bite off and on. 
kind of every year it bites off and on skip guys get them you know things like that but yeah. if we get a steady water temperature in that 63 to 65 degrees um by april or may and it stays like that and you have it's consistent and there's still squid around 100 percent. yeah we yeah. saw we fished sbi on our last trip we saw some fish we hooked a couple mystery fish that we didn't that we, that we never saw that looked like the right kind in the kelp um and we saw fish there. There's squid there. We saw squid at San Nicolas in the proper. We saw squid at San Nick in the areas where that sea bass typically gets on, and there's not an Ooh. astronomical amount of squid. Yeah, good, sign. good showing right there. A good. little bit of squid, which is perfect. Yeah, I remember five, ten years ago, it was good. You good? You get? You know? You get in there if you didn't have any bait, you'd scratch barrel a scoop and you'd catch limits. Yeah, that's not to say it's going to do that, but it's kind of looking. It's lining up a little more regular, normal, 61 to, or 58 to 62 degree water kind of everywhere. It's March. It's about, it's about right. All right. Hey, you know, I would love to keep you here for another half hour, but I know you got to get going. Look out there and tell everybody if they want to jump on the Pride. Is there a phone number? How can they do it? Yeah. So actually our website just finally got finished. Yes, it um, did. I talked to Chad. Um, if you'd like to make a reservation on the Pride or if you'd like any information about Pride Sport Fishing, uh, pridesportfishing.com straightforward um pridesportfishing.com if you uh if you want to book with us just get on there you can go straight to our online booking for 22nd street straight from the website um, our phone numbers are on there both 22nd street landing the webs or phone number and our phone numbers on there um i will tell you guys we have three weekend days available from now until december 3rd really so you might want to start Thinking about if you want to decide, if you want a weekend, there's about three left. Wow, good for you guys. We're even booking half awesome. days and three quarter days on the days we return on Dane Halves. Oh, that's two and a half. Wow, he's got um, gray hair by December. Maybe, well, sure. at least he has hair, you know. <laughs> so if you want to book, um, I highly recommend doing it. We just booked two more charters from our open party clientele today. Wow. So you might want to get on it if Is, you want to book with us. But um, do you guarantee fish? I do not guarantee fish, but I guarantee... He's trying to start trouble. I guarantee... A good time. You'll, you'll, you'll good get service. about 400% of effort. On all these day and a half trips, I've, 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 I fished multiple islands, burned a lot of fuel, and... I guarantee put, it, too. Put Just, the eyes out, basically. Yeah. Like, no one's going to find it if we don't go searching. Right. So we we have now fished every island in our reach. We have kind of a general grasp on what's going on, and... Uh, yeah, if you'd like to book with us, call 20, call 22nd Street or go on our website or on 22ndstreet.com. Um, we'll be up at the, the Kern Valley Sportsman Show next weekend. I won't be there. I'll be there. Mike will be there uh, along with my partner, Mike. I'll be there Friday. Um, that's in the Kern Valley. It's actually building up to be more of a fishing show. They have a fishing hall now. Um, I'll be doing a seminar on Friday, a couple of them. And then Mike, my partner, will be doing the seminars on Saturday and Sunday. I'll be here running the boat for a two-day trip next weekend excellent we have a two-day trip next weekend it's a go already um it's 585 next weekend next weekend not this weekend not, next weekend yeah not the blown out weekend yeah, yeah. um 585 six i think it's 15 people uh two-day trip first day will be pretty meals much targeting included. game fish the full day meals included meals included and uh day two will be filling the bags that's excellent So we're gonna put one full day trying to catch a yellowtail or a halibut or sea bass and we'll catch other stuff too but yeah uh, hey, man, I know how hard you work, and your level of expertise is way up there, so I couldn't recommend the Pride. We've got three trips with you. Yep. I can't wait. Yep. It's going to be fun. Is there a question for uh, before we let Sean go? Nobody asked a question? No Sean? questions for Sean. No <laughs> question for Sean. Thank yeah, you. I was hoping not, so you can get on the boat Thanks and get out of here. Thanks. Right. Good to see you. Let me hang in. All right. Let me hang in. Sean back. Roberts, everybody, from the Pride. Thank you, Sean. That was nice of him to take time. I mean, the guy's beat. He's been out 24 hours. No, he's going to stay busy because he's <laughs> up, up in your face. You know, that's what I like about You can see what a nice guy he is. Super aggressive, super friendly, and he'll wet you in the wheelhouse just to just to talk his ear off, just to not even fishing related. The dude's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, he's great. And yeah. he, like he said, multiple islands. Oh, yeah. They'll no, fish I can't all over. What his fuel bill's like. It's got to be brutal, <laughs> right? <laughs>